are your artwork lacking depth and realism? Do you have problems with your images looking flat? Or do you struggle to get your stock images match with the rest of the scene? Or do you want to create art like the great mad painters and concept artists you follow online? But you're not quite getting there? You are not alone. These are common issues we face as artists, especially when you are trying to hit that next level with your artwork. I built the Digital Landscape Video Training Bundle to help you get past that annoying lack of progress in your Photoshop game. But we will cover more on that in a moment. Creating realistic landscapes and fantasy scenes in Photoshop can be quite intimidating to most beginners. And if you are trying to figure out how to do concept arts with free YouTube tutorials, it can take years to get to the level that you want. This stuff is really tricky when you don't know where to start. So in today's video, I'm going to break down the nine essential skills it takes to become a photo manipulation master. Some of these you will know, and some you definitely won't. If you have played with Photoshop a couple of times and you feel like you are not making any progress, this quick and easy sheet chat will get you the roadmap you will need to get it all figured out. All of the clips and the art demos used in this video are from my Digital Landscape Photoshop course. And if you want to grab that today, it is half the price for the Black Friday promo. Very limited offer. Grab yours today link in the description. And now let's do the rundown. Essential skill number one, compositing. Compositing in Photoshop means to remove the backgrounds or to cut out the objects from the background, sometimes referred to as masking in Photoshop. In photo manipulation, we cut out multiple elements to create new scenes and new creations. And when we say compositing, this is what we are referring to. There is so many tools and options in Photoshop for compositing, it can be really overwhelming, even for more advanced users. So today I'm going to mention the main tools that we use the majority of time. Tools to focus on for compositing, including the layer mask, brush control, color channels, color range, quick selection tool, masking clouds, the pen tool, and the lasso and polygon tools. If you are not following along with the course, you can easily find individual videos explaining these tools across YouTube and photo manipulation channel. This will take a lot longer than following an A to Z guide, but you can definitely make it work if you are a student or on a lower income. Essential skill number two, composition. Composition is one of the most overlooked skills in photo manipulation. And mastering scale and position is absolutely guaranteed to improve any artist's artwork. Composition creates focus, story, and perspective. Composition is all about leading the viewer's eye to where it needs to go. It tells the viewer what is the most important and what might be less critical. It tells the viewer who is the main character and who the side characters are. Composition is an essential element that all of the artists must learn, both digital and traditional. And when it comes to landscapes and matte painting, it's even more critical. Because in landscapes, composition is almost like the main subject. It is absolutely critical if you want to grab the viewer's attention and bring to him whatever fantasy land that you created. Essential skill number three is color. We've all struggled with colors at some point in our life as artists. And as a result, our artworks has suffered from it. Color can really make or break an artwork. And that's because with colors, you can invoke emotions, drama, mood in your artworks. Beginners can really struggle with color, largely because color seems more simple than it actually is. Color is made up of a number of different elements, including values, hues, saturation, shade, and tint. And yes, there's even more. Choosing color is hard enough, but as mad painters, we often have to work with some images that already have existing colors that we then have to shift and color correct. Now from choosing a color, then have to correct an existing color, color is more complex than many things. Essential skill number four, lighting. Now without a proper lighting, not only your images will lack the depth, but they will also lack realism. 
And just like with colors, as a matte painter, you are not only creating the light, but working and adjusting already existing light, which can be a nightmare. But if you don't learn your basics of light, your scenes will look flat and uninspiring. If you are wondering why people are not clicking on your artwork, it's more likely that the lighting is just not that good. Lighting is where having an expert teaching you the skills that you need really pays off. It can take people years of learning lighting by their own. And when it's such an important element to an image, it is absolutely worth the investment, even if that investment is just time and practicing. Now with the skill number five, atmosphere. Now, when you create landscape or environment art, understanding atmosphere is a must. Now, again, it's all about the storytelling, realism, and depth. In the real world, haze and atmospheric gases can affect objects. It can cause objects to appear less sharp and saturated. Sometimes it makes them disappear. Now, this will help the viewer know the distance between the objects. This could mean that the elements are far in the distance. Or it could mean that the elements are very tall that they are reaching the sky. Or you can use a foggy atmosphere to completely change the story of an image. Adding fog or smoke or mist to an image can really add that mysterious element to your artwork. Now, while having a go-to premiere stock images of fog and smoke and all of these elements is important, you will also as an artist need to learn how to make your own from the scratch. Every successful artist has a foggy tricks up their sleeve. Essential skill number six, brush control. Even with all Photoshop fancy tools and filters, the brush tool beats them all. If you understand how really brush work in Photoshop, you will have a much better mastery of the other elements, such as compositing and small details you would have otherwise left out. Learning how to use the brush tool to paint in details will also help develop your own personal style. Now in the world of art, standing out is a key. And when everyone is using the same stock images and overlays, painting from scratch can be a great way to make your art stand out. Now while becoming confident in the brush tool can be intimidating for non-digital painters, it is a skill you won't regret learning. Essential skill number seven, post-processing. Post-processing is the final touch that you can apply to your completed artwork, otherwise known as the global processing, which is processing that you will apply to the whole image, not just a part of it. Post-processing can include color corrections, sharpening, overpainting details, and a lot more. There are many different approaches to the post-processing, and every artist has their own preferences. It can also be the point in your art creation process where you fix any leftovers mistakes or to add last minute details that will help your art feel complete. While everyone has their own way of post-processing, there are definitely best practices that all of the pro artists tend to follow. So do not skip learning how to post-process. Otherwise, your work will suffer. Essential skill number eight. Transform tools. In photo manipulation, there is a lot of manipulation involved. Who would have guessed? Everything from scaling, resizing, wrapping images, to create new elements just by combining and merging different images. Figuring out all of the different transforming tools and how to use them effectively can be tricky. It can even feel intimidating. Not only you have to learn how to use the tools, but you will also have to learn how to wrap and resize images without them becoming pixelated or blurry. Luckily, there is hundreds of free videos that will teach you the tools and how they work. But unfortunately, that will make it very hard to know how to use them together with one another. Now that's where the premier training bundles really come to the rescue. They give you everything you need so that you can start hit the ground running. Not wanting, not searching. Essential skill number eight is values. 
Values defines how light or dark a given color or hue is. Values create contrast in an image. It can tell a viewer how far something is. And most importantly, it creates impact. Bad values or bad contrast will leave your image looking flat and boring. Because values are how light or dark color is, in order to see the values in your image, the best you can do is to turn your image to black and white. You can focus on the values without being distracted by the colors of the image. In the digital landscape reloaded course, I will show you how to fix values and how to use the grayscale to decide the values of your objects and also show you what and how different materials and atmosphere can affect the values of your image. Lastly, I want to thank everyone that got the Digital Landscape Reloaded course and also I want to thank everyone watching this video. Remember, the Digital Landscape Reloaded course is now 50% off for the Black Friday promo. So if you haven't got the course yet, make sure you do. The link is going to be down in the description. Also, make sure to subscribe to the channel and follow us on our social medias. I will see you in the next videos. Peace.